Hello, Bill Rister with Chicago Title. In part five of our Evernote tutorial series, we are going to focus on Dean Willett's strategy for using Evernote to manage transactions. Dean is with Thompson Realty and also has ProductivityAgent.com. And if you go to ProductivityAgent.com, you can actually find the link to purchase Dean's ebook that he wrote, Evernote for Real Estate. I'm going to actually show you templates that are part of that ebook today. The first one I'm going to show you is a seller's template. What, what Dean has done is created a template that mirrors his workflow. These are all editable and changeable depending on what works for the agent who purchases his book. But he has the seller's information, place for some notes when they're doing the listing presentation, when the buyer does arrive and there's a contract, we have a buyer space, uh, checklist prior to the contract, uh, this is the listing information, and then a checklist for the contract once the contract's accepted. And then a transaction notes, a conversation log, if you will, to track what conversations happen during that transaction. So this acts as a, a basic uh, place for all of the information that, uh, that for, for a listing. Now, how do you get this into a note? It's a simple copy and paste. All I've got to do is just select all and uh, you know Shift-A or Command-A if it's a Mac. And then I'm going to copy that by hitting Command-C or Control-C. And then I'll open a new note and I'll simply paste it in here. So that's all I have to do. At this point, I can just you know, name this based on the, maybe it's the seller. So I'll put seller Risser. And I've created a new note. And now if I want to put this into a notebook that's for the Rissers, I can come over here. And I have one already. There's the seller for Risser. I can simply, once I've created this note and hit return, I can take this note and drag it and put it right there where it belongs under seller. And so if I click on this notebook for Risser, you'll see I've made a couple of them, but they're both the same. So it's real simple to create the note by simply copying the template and creating a new note and pasting that template in there. Now you can go in and enter the information for this address, the phone, the email, the MLS number once you have the listing and so on. Same thing applies for the buyers. I'll go back to my templates folder and the buyers template looks very similar. It has all the information for a buyer, uh, the different things that work for Dean in that workflow. If anything, you need to edit anything in here, you can simply just backspace it out or you know delete it. You can do whatever you need to change any of these uh, templates that come with the uh, Evernote for Real Estate ebook. They also have the ability uh, to create a short sale template. And what Dean's done here, because the short sale is uh, its own monster, if you will, you have the information for the property, you have the buyer when it does come in, but then he's added the bank information, first lien, second lien sort of thing, so he can add contact information for who he's working with, who's the asset manager and the go negotiator at the bank. Short sale negotiation notes down here after, as he makes each phone call, and then transaction notes when he's talking to the principals in the transaction as well. Once again, it's simply a matter of selecting all in here and copying that into a new note, calling it you know short sale you know, test, and just pasting that in there. I've got my, I'm ready to go, it takes that long. What Dean does is he goes last name, address of the property, and the foreclosure date. Uh, that's what he puts for the title of it, or the, 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 the title of the note as well, so it's very simple and easy for him to find. So that's the strategy for really using Evernote as a file management tool as, as well as storing all of these notes and things. One last thing Dean's done, I love this, the buyer's resource guide he's created. And for here in Arizona, this handles all of the um, utilities and, and the newspaper and all the stuff that people need when they move. And instead of having to hand them a, a document that has all this information, he's created a, a note for it and he just shares it via email and sends it directly off to his clients. So that's very uh, easy to do and simple to set up and so you're, you can use that at any time. So that's a quick look at some workflow using templates, um, Evernote, uh, there are a lot of the users of Evernote have been asking for the ability to create these templates where you could just hit new note and then insert a template with a habit without having to do the cut and paste. But currently it's going to be a cut and paste, copy and paste kind of a thing. It doesn't take that long. Uh, it's really just a few seconds once you get the hang of it. But I just wanted to make sure you're aware of how that works. In part six of the tutorial series, we're going to talk about the Evernote trunk and I'm going to talk about some more advanced issues like copy note linking and how those can work for a real estate agent as well. 
So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, please email me at billrister at gmail.com. Go to productivityagent.com. Check out Dean's ebook. It's well worth the $19.95. And we will uh, see you with part six soon. Thanks again. Bye.